Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. Thank you so much for joining me today as I have yet another small video to make on vlog tech here. Um, this probably isn't going to be that long of a video, at least I hope so because this should be quite a simple thing that we're going to take care of today. But I noticed something uh, last night. I took the tech out after it was dark to uh, pick up a pizza. And I happen to notice, uh, you know, when you're outside the car and all the lights are on, this license plate light isn't working. But I've, you know, known this for a while since I bought the car. This little license plate light thing here is not the original one. So not only is the light burned out, but it's not the original harness or the original, uh, you know, assembly. And uh, I figured since the light is burned out, we were going to maybe just go ahead and find an original, you know, Aztec license plate uh, light assembly. So, uh, you know, I came out here this morning to just kind of investigate. I had uh, all of this taken off, but I, I kind of put it back on for the time being. But it appears that, you know, somebody took this aftermarket light and they drilled holes into the black cladding to hold it on. As you can see the original one there's a Torx head there and a Torx head here. And uh, yeah so I, I took this off. This this screw here that they had was awful so it's not really sitting you know the way that it originally was. And uh, I pulled it out and I came to notice that one of the wiring, one of the wires has actually been sheared off by corrosion. It was green on the end. It was ripped right out. It's sitting up here somewhere. Like I said, I just stuck all that back up in there for the time being. Not to mention, of course, they cut the original wiring harness off, the light socket, and uh, proceeded to tape it all together. The funny thing is, if we look over here, maybe, yeah, right there, we can see a piece of the original harness, that little plastic piece, so you can see what was broken off, and it's like that on the uh, on the other side too. You can kind of see it up there. So my guess is somebody went to go change the the uh, bulb one time, and they maybe pulled it, and it broke right off. That's my only assumption. So today we're going to head over to the uh, junkyard, and uh, we're going to see. If we could find ourselves an OEM light fixture with the uh, with the connector for the bulb to go in, obviously, and we're gonna have to cut the wiring, of course. And uh, they just electrical taped it, which honestly is probably what I'm gonna do because I don't know how to solder, and I don't know, I don't have anything like um, what do they call that stuff? Heat shrink, heat shrink tubing. So. We'll just do the electrical tape method um, and go from there. So that's where we're going to head out now. Hopefully my car doesn't get hit this time while we're there. So uh, i got to move the Fiesta out of the way and we'll hit the road. Well, so far I've come across two. and The first one was missing and this one is obviously somebody broke it. So, I think there's like, I don't know, five more. There's a blue one over here. Let's go take a look at it. It's a Coke. Nope, it's there. All right, cool. We'll take a look at it. T15 Torx is what we need for this. kind of crusty, but I think we can get it in there.
much wiring, man. Okay, bulb's obviously burnt. The bulb just pops out. All right, so we'll leave this here. I'm gonna go see if maybe I can find, you know, another one as a backup or something. Oof. Ooh, she's rough. Wow. Ew. Stinky. Oh, really stinky. What is this? O3. Looks like mine only. Obviously mine was nicer. Let's see. Well, it's in there. Let's have a look at this one. so far I like this one better than the other one I think well guys I think I found my winners so this lens came from this uh, 04 maroon Aztec but I don't know I'm thinking about taking the connector from this uh, O2 Aztec. I have a little more wire to work with, it looks like. And it doesn't look as burnt as the other one over there does, so I think we're going to cut this one off and take it. Um, and every one of them that I looked at have melt marks on the inside from them getting hot. So I think that's going to be inevitable, but this lens is clean. A lot of the other ones look like, <clears throat> like the one from this one here. They look kind of like tarnished and foggy and so I think we're just going to keep this connector and we're going to take the lens from the red one over there. This is the one we took the lens off of just now. Didn't realize it was this bad. Transmission's like seat. <laughs> oh. Ugh. think somebody liked somebody else. Here's a delicious Malibu. Oh, nice and toasty. Ooh. Yikes. This one rally that we looked at, it's got the uh, the cargo tray in the very back, but can't open the back hatch because there's no power. I took the key out of the ignition. It's not working. So I don't know if there's a way to slide this out if these both of these seats are up. I don't know, but I'd like to have that. It needs clean, but. Man, that'd be nice to have. Here's a sad one over on the Ford side. An 07 Ford Taurus. 
It looks similar to the one that my uh, my ex totaled. Only two years newer. She only made it to 99,172. exactly like the tours that, that I had we had keys with it set player tell was a smoker it's rotting that's probably why it's here it was damaged rotting <clears throat> So sad though, it didn't make it to a hundred thousand. Probably for that reason alone. She's been picked over a little bit. Sad. All right, so we're back home. Of course, naturally, it's gonna start raining. It wasn't supposed to rain today. And naturally, I leave the junkyard with more than what I needed. So, we got our light. I'll try to do this before the rain really kicks in. But I also got this thing. And the sad thing is I had this when I got my tech. It came with it, but I didn't know what it was. Because the previous owners left some of their own junk back there, so I threw it out. Not knowing that this is the cargo cover for the back of the tech. So I blindly stumbled across one of these. Um, I didn't realize that's what it was until after I threw mine out a while ago when I cleaned the tech for the first time. I didn't know, so we got that again. And I'm gonna try to get that, that cargo tray. Um, uh, I guess they told me I can get a battery from them and we can use the battery to open up the hatch. But I don't have the money to get it today, so I didn't get it today. So we'll try and get that hopefully soon. Hopefully it'll still be there. I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod. We're gonna try to do this light thing while the rain isn't in full gear yet. All right, so we're gonna pull this other one out again. Or technically it's the first time for you guys seeing it. So, this is what they had in there, and uh, where's the one wire at? Well, let's see, yeah, it was this one. So, the very end of that wire is green. It's completely, completely sheared off. And then, I don't know if you can see, I might have to move you guys, but all they did was tape on the old wires also. So now my problem is, these wires look the same, but one wire is supposed to be black and the other one's supposed to be brown, according to our new, um, our new wiring on the, the new harness. And now, real quick, we'll take our, our Torx 15, and we'll remove what's left of the one up here. Maybe. Might need something to keep from spinning. Oh, no, there we go. Maybe your fingers can, there it goes. These screws are so rusted. So there's 
one of our broken pieces from the previous one. The other one's on this side. Try some needle nose. Get up in there a little easier, I think. Just hold on to it. Let's see what that does. I might just be spinning. Nope, it's coming. There we go. using these ones obviously these screws we got other ones with our slightly used assembly so yeah I got one brown wire and I've got one black wire if I look at what's up here let's see it's, this one might be the brown it's it's very hard to tell How bad this is gonna look under here. Granted, oh, green. Boy, I really hope this whole wire isn't bad. Obviously, I don't have much wire to work with inside the door. I think we're just gonna have to cut this off, maybe. Oh, no, I okay, I see some, I see some uh, copper there. I think this is the brown wire. Cut the end off and okay, so that looks good. That end looks pretty decent. I'm just gonna cut this one off also. Cut about maybe here. And sweep. Man, it's hard to tell because they, they look so similar in color. This is why I hate aftermarket stuff sometimes. Who knows how long this, this has actually been on here. Ugh. Okay, I think the one right here, I think this is our brown. Because holding it up to this, it looks very similar, so that's probably the black. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside, I'm going to turn the lights on first, I'm going to see if I can touch these together and just see if this light even works. Hopefully it does. The bulb doesn't look like it's burned out, so hopefully it'll be alright. Alright, cool. I saw it light up. We, we have it. So that's correct. So this one here is going to be our, our brown wire is going to be um, right here and then the black one's going to be there. And uh, I don't know if you saw that or not. I got them to just slightly touch a little and uh, it did light. I don't want to lose that. Okay. Now I wish I had you know more um, experience in actually like soldering and stuff but unfortunately I don't so doing the old you know electrical tape thing is just how I know how to do it for the time being. But maybe one day, maybe one day I'll learn a little more about, you know, maybe even testing stuff, diagnosing stuff with electrical and knowing how to properly rewire something. So, so that's the brown, so this is our black one here. So we're going to do the old twisty twisty, tapey tapey. Alright, so we got that twisted on. Do this side. All right. 
looks awful, guys, don't it? <laughs> but for now, if it works, I'm not going to complain. Let's take our screws out. Okay, carefully try to fish that up there. This is probably going to be the fun part, is trying to get these to, you know, actually sit. Okay, so, I'll line the holes up. Just tighten it up. See how it, how it does. Oh, these screws are a lot nicer than the ones that I took off of here. I don't want to over tighten these either because I don't want them to, to break, obviously, so that's good. I don't think it's going to go anywhere there. Let's turn the lights on and make sure that uh, it is 100% good still. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's put this cargo cover on and see what it looks like. So I'm assuming you have to start all the way down here with it. Because all it does is there's these little hooks and they hook on to the rings like so. I do believe there's enough. So there's one there and then this one goes up here. Now we go to the other side. You know, for the longest time, as much of, a, of an Aztec enthusiast that I've been all these years, I had no idea that there was a, uh, a cover, cargo cover, for the tech. Yeah, see, it's, it's like elastic. There's one there. And we'll go to the back to do the last of it. <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> so when uh, it covers up the sides there, I thought maybe you can probably also do it maybe the other way if you hook. Because there's, there's two more hooks down here. So if you really wanted to keep things covered, but I'm assuming you want it that way. So if you're, you know, looking in through this way or opening the door, everything is still hidden. So with the hatch down, can't really see anything. So cool. I'm glad I got that back. Like I said, I threw the other one away and I honestly had no idea what it was. I thought the previous people just left something back here. So that's neat. I'm, I'm really glad I found that. But okay, so we got our license plate done, our, our light. We could throw this out. Looks like even the wiring was, was getting pinched and cut. So see, that's why, I, I mean, I don't know. If somebody tried to change this and they broke it or if it just got brittle over time and it broke but it's much much better to go get the original one from a junkyard or something I mean come on it was it's easy to change there's two screws I don't know some people just some people are either just lazy or they just don't understand that that's an option but whatever all I know is I've got the original light assembly back. There's no annoying weird thing sticking sticking on the body where it shouldn't be. And I am happy with it. 
So I'm sure it, you know, it'll probably burn out. Who knows how old that bulb is. But whatever, it works for now and that's all I care about. So that's really all that I've got for this vlog today, guys. Um, it's a little bit longer than I anticipated. Kind of took a little bit of a walk around the junkyard today and looked at some various techs and we're going to try to get that cargo tray. Can't guarantee you though that I'm going to get it. But honestly, that's really the only other accessory that I'd like to have for the tech. Because I've got the tent. I've got that little cargo cover now. So if I get the cargo tray, then that would be awesome. I know there's like backpacks and a bike rack and stuff, and that would be cool too, but I'm sure find, trying to find those, that might be kind of a rarity. Maybe not. But I'm okay with not having those. I, I do want that cargo tray though, and then and I'll be happy. Oh, and the mats. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish cleaning up before it starts raining again. I wanna thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out teespring.com slash stores slash points vehicle spotlight for all of your MVS and vlog merchandise. And that's all that I've got, guys. So, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, and take care.